Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of y plus 2 to the power of z. This is equal to 168. Given that x, y, and z, these are members of positive integers, and that x is less than y, and y is less than z. So what are the values of x, y, and z from this algebra problem. So let's prevent the solution from here. From our equation, which is 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of y plus 2 to the power of z, which is equal to 1, sister 8, we have that x is less than y and is less than z. So this implies that we can factor out 2 to the power of x from here, so that into the parentheses we have 2 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x, this is 1, then plus 2 to the power of y divided by 2 to the power of x, we have 2 to the power of y over 2 to the power of x, then plus 2 to the power of z divided by 2 to the power of x, this becomes 2 to the power of z over 2 to the power of x. This is equal to 168. The next step from here, we have 2 to the power of x. Into the parentheses, we have 1 plus 2 to the power of y over 2 to the power of x, which you can express as 2 to the power of y minus x. 2 to the power of y over 2 to the power of x. This can be expressed as 2 to the power of y minus x, applying the row of indices, that is a to the power of n over a to the power of m. This is the same thing as a to the power of n minus m. So now here we have plus 2 to the power of z over 2 to the power of x. This can also be expressed as 2 to the power of z minus x. Close the parentheses. This is equal to 1 sister 8. We can express 1 sister 8 basically as 8 times 21. So here we have 8 times 21. The next step is to make comparison here. 2 to the power of x, this is even. 1 plus 2y minus x plus 2 raised to the power z minus x, this is odd. On the right hand side, we have 8, which is even. And we have 21, which is an odd number. The next step, let's make a comparison. We have 2 to the power of x. Now, on the left hand side, we have 2 to the power of x. This is equal to 8. This is equal to 8. And we have that 1 plus 2 to the power of y minus x plus 2 to the power of z minus x. This is equal to 21. So from here, we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. And since the bases are common here, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m. So since the bases are common, exponent n is equal to m. So this implies that, now this implies that x is equal to 3. So we have the value of x as 3. So from here, we can substitute the value of x so that we have 1 plus 2 to the power of y minus 3, then plus 2 to the power of z minus 3. This is equal to 21. The next step from here is to take 1 on the right hand side so that we have 2 to the power of y minus 3 plus 2 to the power of z minus 3. This is equal to 21 minus 1. Now we can express 2 to the power of y minus 3 by applying the rows of indices that is a to the power of n minus m. This can be expressed as a to the power of n over a to the power of m. So we have 2 to the power of y over 2 to the power of 3 then plus 2 to the power z over 2 to the power 3. This is equal to 21 minus 1. This is equal to 20. So we have 2 to the power of y plus 2 to the power of z divided by 
2 to the power 3, which is equal to 8. This is equal to 20. The next step is to multiply both signs by 8 from here. So that if we simplify here, we have 2 to the power of y plus 2 to the power of z. This is equal to 20 times 8, which is equal to 160. Now, the next step from here, we have that y is less than z. So we can factor out 2 to the power of y so that 2 to the power of y divided by 2 to the power of y, this is 1, then plus 2 to the power of z divided by 2 to the power of y. So this is the same thing as 2 to the power of z over 2 to the power of y. This is equal to 160. Now from here, we have 2 to the power of y, 2 to the power of y, into the parentheses, this is 1, plus 2 to the power of z over 2 to the power of y, this is equal to 160. We can express 160 as that 2 times 5. Now here we have 2 to the power of y, into the parentheses, 1 plus 2 to the power of z, over 2 to the power of y, this is equal to that 2, which you can express as 2 to the power of 5, times 5. So again here, we find that 2 to the power of y, this is even, and here this is odd. On the right hand side, 2 to the power of 5, this is even, and 5 is odd. The next step is that we can make a comparison here. We have 2 to the power of y, this is equal to 2 to the power of 5. On the other side here we have 1 plus 2 to the power of z over 2 to the power of y, this is equal to 5. Therefore from here, applying the rules of indices, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m. Since the bases are common, this is what we have here then exponent n is equal to m. So this implies that y from here is equal to 5. y is equal to 5. Now, from here, let's take 1 on the right hand side so that we have 2 to the power of z over 2 to the power of y. Now since we have y is equal to 5 from here, this side we have 1 plus 2 to the power of z over 2 to the power of y, this is equal to 5. So let's take 1 on the right hand side, so that here we have 2 to the power of z over 2 to the power of y, this is equal to 5 minus 1. This implies that we have 2 to the power of z divided by 2 to the power of 5. This is equal to 5 minus 1, which is equal to 4. The next step is that we can express 4 as 2 to the power 2. So now from here, we have 2 to the power of z over 2 to the power of 5. This is equal to 2 to the power 2. So let's multiply both signs by 2 to the power of 5 times a, 2 to the power of 5. So let's simplify here, so that now 2 to the power of z, this is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 5. Now, clearly we have that 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 5, this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property from here, this implies that 2 to the power of z, this is equal to 2 to the power of 2 plus 5. And this implies that here we have 2 to the power of z, this is equal to 2 raised to the power 2 plus 5, this is equal to 7. And this implies that since the bases are common here, then z is equal to 7.
So now we have all the values of x. We have the values of x. Remember x is equal to 3. We have the value of y equal to 5. And the value of z equal to 7. So the next step is to verify that the values of x, y, and z satisfies the equation as follows. Now let's verify that the value of x, which is 3, value of y, which is 5, and z, which is 7, satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we have that 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of y plus 2 to the power of z, this should give us a value of 168. Now substituting the value of x, y, and z from here, we have 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 5 plus 2 to the power of 7. This is supposed to give us a value of 168. So 2 to the power 3, this is 8 plus 2 to the power 5, this is that's 2. Then plus 2 to the power of 7, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 6 times 2. And 2 to the power of 6 from here, this is 64 times 2, and this is equal to 128. So here plus 128, this is supposed to give us a value of 168. So 8 plus that 2, this is equal to 40 plus 128. This is supposed to give us a value of 168. So 128 plus 40 from here, this is equal to 168, which is equal to 168. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, y, and z satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video.